Hello everyone, this is Prashant. In this presentation, we will discuss about the problems on the block diagram. In the previous presentation, we discussed about the block diagram reduction rules. The rules which are used to reduce any block diagram to a single block which is connected between the output C of S and the input R of S. Let us take one simple example on the block diagram. Here the control system is represented by block diagram. We know that the block diagram is a pictorial representation of each and every components in the control system. Before solving any block diagram, we need to check the blocks in series, the blocks in parallel and the blocks in a loop. Here in this question the block G1 and G2 will not be connected in cascade because there is a disturbance between these two points that is takeoff point. If there is no takeoff point the blocks may be connected in cascade and we could have multiplied their individual transfer function according to the block diagram reduction rules. As the output of the block G1 is connected to the summing point we have a loop here. The first step is to reduce this loop by using closed loop transfer function. The closed loop transfer function says is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s. Here g of s is g1 and h of s is 1 as it is unity feedback system. After substituting the value of g of s and h of s, the loop transfer function reduces to g1 divided by 1 plus g1. After eliminating that loop, the block diagram reduces to this form where g1 divided by 1 plus g1 and the block g2 are connected in cascade by using block diagram reduction tool we can combine those two block by multiplying their individual transfer functions that is a that is a second step as the two blocks are converted to an one block by using the block diagram reduction tool the block diagram reduces to this form the output of this block g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 is connected to the input summing point with the help of feedback element Again we have a loop here. We can eliminate this loop by using closed loop transfer function that is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s. The, the, the polarity of this as the polarity of this summing point is negative it is a negative feedback system hence the closed loop transfer function is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s. Here g of s is this whole thing and h of s is 1. After simplifying the transfer function, the block diagram transfer function reduces to g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g1 plus g1 into g2. So that block is connected between the output and the input. That is the final transfer function of the system. Let us take another example on the block diagram reduction. The question is saying to find the overall transfer function of the system, we have input R of S which is connected to the block diagram and output C of S. Okay, the question is to find the C of S divided by R of S. Between these two points, we have so many blocks G1, G2, G3, G4 and H1, S2. The mainly the blocks G1, G2, G3, G4 forms the forward path transfer functions whereas H1, S2 forms the feedback path transfer functions. The first step, as I told, the first step is to find the blocks in cascade, blocks in parallel and the blocks in a loop. The first step is to identify the blocks in a series. As the block G1 and G4 are connected in cascade, multiply their individual transfer functions and the block G2 and G3 are connected in parallel, add the transfer functions of those two blocks based on the polarity of the summing points. After reducing the blocks in series and the parallel the block diagram reduces to this form where g1 into G, g4 and g2 plus g3 will not be in cascade because we have a takeoff point here if there is no takeoff point we could have multiplied the transfer functions of both the blocks as the output of g1 g4 is connected to this summing point with the help of this feedback element this forms a loop eliminate this positive feedback loop with a closed loop transfer function. We know that the closed loop transfer function is g of s divided by 1 minus g of s into h of s where g of s is g1 into g4 and h of s is h1. 
Okay, after simplifying that block, that loop, the block diagram reduces to G1, G4 divided by 1 minus G1, G4, H1 is in series with G2 plus G3. So we can multiply these two blocks with the help of block diagram reduction rules. And the finally, the block diagram reduces to this form g2 g g2 plus g3 into g1 g4 divided by 1 minus g1 g4 into h1 the output of this block is connected to this summing point with the help of this feedback element this forms a loop eliminate this loop with the help of closed loop transfer function g of s equals to g2 plus g3 g1 g4 divided by 1 minus g1 2 g4 h1 this forms g of s and h of s is s2 substitute all these values in this equation the transfer function reduces to g1 g4 into g2 plus g3 divided by 1 minus g1 g4 h1 plus g1 g4 into g2 plus g3 into s2 so this block is connected between the output c of s and the input r of s so this is all about the block diagram problems thank you